Hey guys, Brandon here, coming at you with another MLB The Show video, and today I wanted to talk about the roster update that is going to be taking place on the same day that the content drops, and that is right there on 719 all the way at the bottom, new player attribute upgrades and downgrades. So, wanted to talk about those upgrades and before I get into that uh, if you didn't see my other video I talked about it for like half a second but I did drop my Paul Goldschmidt card uh, he's not doing terrible right now but a little bit earlier on in the year he was doing bad and uh, I don't think he's got what it takes to stay at an 85 at least uh, if he doesn't pick it up so if you wanted to hold off on completing the Cardinals collection if you haven't already done it uh, until he drops uh, that'd be a good decision uh, if not, you know, it's up to you. Obviously, I don't know everything, so I don't have all the answers. If he'll drop or if I'll just waste all my time waiting for him. Uh, kind of hurts me that I have to wait to get that Pujols card, but I already have a better team than that Pujols anyways, unfortunately. So I'm waiting on the other one that's going to come out in the fifth inning program. And enough rambling about that, that downgrade, potentially. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, before our silver golds and diamonds I wanted to talk about the long shots or the long options that I still have uh, this dude's been with me for a little while we got a Starling Marte uh, obviously he's a long shot he's got uh, three levels to go but his hitting is so low I could see uh, him really going he's hitting 281 this season with 15 home runs uh, those power numbers aren't really looking like uh, 15 home runs to me, and uh, he's a lot better batter than this game showing currently. So wouldn't be surprised if he does get an upgrade. If not, I'm not going to be too hurt because obviously these are long shots. Uh, he's not going to get an upgrade this one most likely. So that's why we're investing in him now to make sure that we have uh, options later. Obviously, you can buy them at a, a thousand. And if you buy like 20 of them at a thousand, maybe he'll go diamond later on in the year and you'll make some bank off of it, but that's up to you. Next long option I have is our boy Devers. Uh, Devers is just a long shot to go gold, though. He's hitting 327 with 17 home runs. Obviously, his hitting stats are pretty good, a lot better than Starling Marte's still. But uh, I still think there's room for improvement for him. Uh... I could see later on if he keeps staying on fire that he'll go on a gold, so that's why he's in my long shots. Then we'll go with our last one. We've got, not filters, got our boy, this boy, <laughs> Christian Vasquez. So Christian Vasquez, catcher for the Red Sox, as you can see. Hitting 298 with 15 home runs. Uh, obviously, he's not gold caliber yet, but uh, in a few updates, I think there's a chance that he could go there. And uh, yeah, I don't see why not. So, those are my long shots. And I hope that in the future they will make it to where they belong. So we got people going to silver. We got uh, Sin Shu Chu. One level to get there, as he's been hitting 294 with 15 home runs. Uh, I didn't do like the splits on everybody, but uh, there's a chance that those are against lefties, and his lefty can go up. If not, uh, I'm sure we can find some hitting stats to increase for him to make him go up one level to a silver so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets an upgrade alright next we have Adam Frazier who's one level away from getting it uh, hitting 283 with four home runs and uh, I could see him going up as an honorable mention for the silvers I have Danny Santana, uh, he's obviously a 68, so he's got a long way to go, but with those weak hitting stats, uh, he shouldn't be hitting 309 with 11 home runs, 
so it's more like a long shot but I didn't want to waste a long shot on a silver so he's in the silver category so next for going to golds we have Dang, there's a lot of these oh, right there Daniel Murphy one level away hitting 295 uh, nine home runs so obviously the power is probably gonna stay where it's at but uh I think they can find a way to wiggle him around to an 80 overall since he is hitting 295, 9 home runs. The next on the list I have Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, his price already reflect, reflects that he might be a gold soon. So uh, you're not buying this player to make stubs, you're more like buying him to make sure he's not going up on you and you can save some stubs. So with Tatis, he's hitting 329 with 14 home runs. Uh, obviously, he's made big splashes in the league, so I feel like he can go gold at about any time. The last two for the going to gold for me are going to be pitchers who are actually in the All-Star game. So we have Shane Bieber, one level away. Price is almost reflecting being a gold. Uh, he's 8-3 and three on the season with a 3.45 ERA and uh, on his way to being a gold card for sure. Next we have the other pitcher from the All-Star game. we got Liam Hendricks right here. Price already reflecting being a gold. 3-0 uh, and o with 6 out of 7 save opportunities this year. His last seven, he's five for five on save opportunities with a zero ERA, so he's cooking in the last seven. But, uh, you know, on the season, he's not doing half bad himself. So now what everybody came for, we've got the two diamonds. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with the person I've always been going for, Trey Turner. Obviously, his price is decreasing as uh, he might be injured. I'm not entirely sure. Uh so Trey Turner went down, not necessarily down, but down in price. Uh, I don't know if they'd give him an upgrade or like a 87 right now if uh, he's injured. So he might still be there. So Trey Turner hitting 279, still with seven home runs. All they got to do is increase a little bit of hitting, and he's at 85 and some easy stubs made for you. Uh, we have our next guy. I'm going to do the next two pitchers in a row and then I'll end on a hitter. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I went with this guy the last few times, so he'll be familiar. Price already almost reflecting it. We got Charlie Morton. Uh, Charlie Morton, 11-2 and two on the season with a 2.35 ERA, but in his last three, 3-0 three and zero with a 1.93 ERA. Uh, you know, anytime we're waiting for him to go diamond, so no surprise there when he actually does. Last pitcher on the diamond list, we have Aaron Nola. Uh, Aaron Nola just needs one overall to get there. 8-2 uh, and two on the season. Uh, issue is his season ERA is a 3.63, not necessarily ref reflecting a diamond, but uh, his last three being 2-0 and with a .87 ERA. Uh, you know, there's always the chance that he can go diamond at any time so make sure you pick up him his price is not reflecting it so could be a good time to get him now and for our last one <coughs> we have our boy Xander Bogarts Xander Bogarts one away from going diamond and with Xander he's hitting 297 with 19 home runs this season so we just need that little increase to make him a diamond, and uh, I do think he'll get it. All right. So as we're ending there, need to real quick look and even see if I had a Xander. I do. Okay. So I guess I can do this. Really? What a steal of a deal. Maybe he'll go diamond, who knows. Uh, I'll open up this pack for you. And we didn't get any diamonds in our last pack opening kind of thing I did last video, so a silver will take it.
So if you guys enjoyed the video, enjoy these predictions, uh, consider subscribing. If you didn't check out my last video on who I think the fifth inning players are going to be for the rewards, you might want to check that out because it uh, really gets your mind thinking about who could be the players, uh, Albert Pujols. Um, but besides that, uh, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll see you later.